Hey everyone, how you get doing? It is me, Tim, and I will be reading A Very Hairy Christmas by Susan Lowe. Once upon a Christmas Eve, creatures were steering all through the house. It was little Abbey House in the middle of a cactus forest, deep in the heart of the desert. The creatures who lived there were three little jubilous, wild, hairy, southern, western cousin of pigs. Police Naughty Da, they sung as they worked. Police Naughty Da. San Santa's coming tonight, said the first little Jaluba, whose name was Juan. He was baking gingerbread. Jalabans. Yikes, said his brother Jose. They're spicy. Your cooking cookies almost do backflips in my mouth, said their sister Josephine. What's in them? My secret ingredients, said Juan. Meanwhile, cactus mice iced teeny cookies. Striped crickets played, decked the halls while fuzzy spiders spun special holiday webs. Finally, everything was ready with a splash of delicious colors, peppermint, orange, plum. The desert sun went down. The wind blew icy cold. Way off in the distance, something howled. But inside, everyone was warm and cozy. The crickets chirped out the nutcracker sight. Twee! Twee! Twee, twee, twee. And Josephine's twirled and twinked through the dance of the sugar plum, Harry. You see, Josephine was a prime ballerina. Javina. Oh, cried the audience. Listen, said Juan. Was that a howl? It's just the wind, said Jose. Josephine peeked outside, but all she saw was night. I'm sleepy, said young Jose. Me too, said Juan. Me three, said Josephine. So they filled a plate with special spicy cookies for Santa. Next, each little... Jo Jovlene sent a cowboy boot in front of the window wood stove and they all went to bed. The striped crickets played silent night. The mi mice fell asleep in their nest. The spiders curled up in their webs. And then suddenly, way out in the desert, something clattered. The three Javinas opened a big, their big brown eyes and 
twitched their hairy ears. Quick as three flashes, they sprung to the window. Bumped, bumped them through the cactus came a miniature wagon and eight teeny mule deer. The Javelins couldn't see the driver, but they heard his jolly voice. Now Bandit, now Buckeye, now Dusky and Dawn, I'm Chico, I'm Cleo, I'm Dolores, I'm Fawn, he shouted. Giddy up, dash away all, Santa cried the three little Javinlas. But instead of a swoosh, they heard a clunk. Chains clinged. The wagon stopped dead in its tracks. Fly yelled the voice. Now it was not jolly at all, but the teeny mule deer just shook their antlers. Quickly the voice changed again. It sounded sweeter than a candy cane. Fine, take a break, my dearest little deer. Stay there and rest. Your tootsies. I'm going in. A strange shadow climbed right past the Javelin's pink shrouds. Surprising sounds came down from the tin roof. He, 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 we, at least. He's here, whispered Juan. Shh, said Josephine. He's magic, stay back. So they peeked around the corner. The wood stove door banged open and a cloud of ashes flew out. Huff, huff, said the cloud. I mean, ho, ho, ho. He was dressed in fur from head to foot. A big white beard hid most of his face, except for his nose, which was a little like a cher cherry. It was pointed. Where's his bag of toys, whispered Juan. Why does he have claws, hissed. I mean, whispered Jose. Why does he have claws, whispered Juan. Santa Claus, gasped Josephine. His eyes, how they twinkled when he saw those super spicy gingerbread. Javelins, mmm. Piggies, he chuckled. Crunch. The secret ingredients exploded all over his tongue. It was chili pepper. What a noise came out from his mouth. It was shriek and a sneeze, a siren. No, it was all three at once. He... Uh, ho, holly, jalapenos, he screamed, and his beard flew off. He was sly coyote, and he was still hungry. Little piggy, little piggy, Coyote called out. Time for din-din. 
Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, shouted all three little Javinulas. Juan ran, Jose flopped, and Josephine gracefully leaped away. Silly coyote, Josephine said, we're not pigs, we're Javinias. Crash! Down came the Christmas tree. All the mice jumped out of bed. All the spiders stretched their legs. The crickets began to play. Do you hear what I hear? I think I'll eat you, you with ten and green chili sauce, snarled Coyote for Christmas. Yikes! cried Josephine, dangling from the payanta. Whack! The payata shattered, scattered. Nuts and candy came tumbling down, and so did Josephine. But she landed perfectly on one teeny toe, and then Josephine began to spin and spin and spin. Coyote's eyes went around and around and around. Juan tied him up with a lot of ribbon. Jose taped his muzzle shut. Josephine held out the empty sack and Juan and Jose stuffed him inside. Finally, Josephine added a big shiny bow. I hear sleigh bells, cried Jose suddenly. Me too, said Juan. Me three, said Josephine. Bedtime quick, sleep tight. Mr. Coyote. They woke to a magical Christmas morning. A rare desert snowstorm had passed in the night, frosting the steep purple mountains and icing every cactus white and playing in the snow outside they found eight new friends inside there was magic too everything was tidy every crumb of gingerbread was gone they strapped the strapped crickets were playing we wish you a merry christmas the tree and the piano were back in their place and the three cowboy boots were blunging with presents. Feliz da," said the three little jablinas. Happy Jablina shouted the eight teeny mule deer who were invited to dinner along with everyone else. Just before they sat down to eat, Josephine opened the last present. Harry Christmas, beat Coyote in a sorry little voice. Harry Christmas, said Juan and Jose, but with their mouths full, it sounded like Hooray Christmas. A very hairy Christmas to all, said the said Josephine Cavleen, standing on tip on tiptoe under the desert mistle, mistletoe. Or dessert mistletoe. She gave Coyote a very hairy kiss. Coyote said, Ooh.
And if you just been kissed by Sugar Plum Harry, you'll say, Oh, too. <laughs> well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the story of a very hairy Christmas. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. I want to say thanks for watching. Y'all take care. And this story is over.